بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد I commence in the name of Allah I send salutations of prayers and peace upon the finality of prophets and messengers Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon his family his companions and all who follow him in righteousness until the day of judgment today on this next episode of Convert Chronicles I wanted to uh, basically introduce you all to my beautiful mother um, alhamdulillah, and uh, we wanted to basically the same way we did. I did with my little brother. I wanted to basically, you know, take you on a small journey. Um, and being, my mother being able to answer some questions, you know, since she's seen my life both before Islam and then during Islam. So she's seen me partying, drinking, you know, being out there in the streets. Uh, she didn't know I used to sell drugs. Thank God until afterwards, until I became Muslim. Um, but she saw me. Um, living that life and then now she sees me for the last 19 years as a Muslim and living the life as a Muslim and going out and trying to invite people to his faith and I think it's important that you know um, non-Muslim parents um, see the relationship that we have and you know me being a Muslim and her she's not a Muslim she's a Christian um, but being able to hear you know what she thinks you know how she felt before when I was living that life and how she feels now and for her to be able to express that to all of you so that we can find some benefit um, and get some benefit from the words that she may have to say. Wama, you can hold it if you want. So, this is a wonderful pleasure to um, express myself and the wonderful testimony that I have regarding my son. Um, my son, Wesley, was... Um, pretty much lost in the world and um, it was very hard for me. I know he was drinking a lot but a lot of things I didn't know until later on. Um, I know he was doing some drugs but not extensive but I know the drinking was very heavy and um, we just had a lot of battles, both of us. Um, I was suffering a lot, I was praying for him. I, at that time I wasn't Christian. Um, um, what I say, um, uh, a Christian where I was more devoted to God because me and myself, I was also out in the world. And, um, you know, I saw a lot of things that my son was doing and I was hearing about it because he was living with his dad. He would come and live with me sometimes as well. And um, I had to kind of talk to him about it and I said, look, what you're doing, um, this is not the life. Your friends are not your friends. If um, you continue this way, it's not going to be good for you. I mean, I had to take him to the park one day. And I had a long talk with him, and he was really upset with me um, because he wanted to know who was telling me the things that he was doing. But he was in a really bad position, my son, to the point that I was going to lose him to the world. Then um, I had foster children. He met one of my foster children, um, Edgar. Edgar. And um, Edgar was a very nice boy. He, his mother died from HIV. And he, um, they just started hanging out together and Edgar introduced my son to Islam. And for me, it was very hard because September uh, 11 came around and the Twin Towers came down and I was very worried um, I thought that that was not the religion. And I was in Saudi Arabia. Uh, my son was in Saudi Arabia at the time, that's yeah. right. My son was in Saudi Arabia at the time when the Twin Towers came down. And I was at work watching the news and I was crying because my son was over there and I was thinking, oh, he's never going to come back. Thinking about that this was not for him and, and, and I just was very naive about it. My son was writing me a lot of great letters telling me he was okay. He was speaking a lot about Allah and telling me how good Allah was and how wonderful it is to pray and ask him for so many things. And he was just explaining to me that thou shall not kill. And that, that's not what Islam is about. And little by little, I kept learning about this beautiful um, religion that I respect so much and that I love myself so much. 
um, my heart is in 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 Islam um, more believe it or not than Christianity because it saved my son my son today is a wonderful man who preaches the word he um, he got to know Allah one night while he was out partying and hanging out with his friends. And you know, they were drunk and he was outside and he was just looking up in the sky and something just hit him and made him realize that this was not it for him. That this world, that the drugs and the liquor was gonna kill him. And I believe also that it was also my prayers I, I prayed a lot for my son, um, for my, my two boys. As a mother, uh, a great believer in God, because um, my family are Christian and Pentecostal. Um, I was raised in the religion, you know, and um, I know God is a great God. He's a mighty God who, when we pray to Him, He answers our prayers, and He answered my prayer. Um, and I cannot thank him enough because he saved my son from the world of liquor, drugs, because my son got into some accident which was not good. Um, I thought he was going to wind up also in jail. And, or killed, or dead. Um, and, and, and God is a good God because he made my son realize that one night that when he was with, uh, with, his, with his friends, that um that that wasn't it that that the drinking wasn't it and he told the guys that they had to go and they thought he was just bugging out because he was in the influence of liquor and um drugs but you know what it wasn't that it was god it was allah allah opens up our eyes and our minds and our hearts he comes in in a in a way that is amazing and um, my son, from that, that day on, he became a new man. He started changing, because that's what Allah does. He changes us slowly. We start leaving everything that we do not pertain to in the world, um, uh, the, the, the religion. It, it, it's, it's a great religion. I have a great respect for it, because it's, I tell my husband all the time, I respect and it's wonderful how my son and everybody that I know, how we stop to pray when it's time for Allah. And, and that to me is so important. Um, I, I couldn't understand it back then. And we're talking about so many years ago. But I praise Allah. He's a wonderful God. He's one God, and um, he he he's he's just marvelous. It's, I I recommend anybody to really look into this religion. This is just one of the best religion ever. Um, because once again, I say this: that even me being a Christian woman, we don't stop to pray at all hours. And we need to learn from this religion. We need to be more faithful to Allah. We need to stop and pray and ask Him and, and really recognize how wonderful He is. And um, to those mothers out there and fathers who have their children in the world, keep trusting in Allah and keep, keep, keep praying because your prayers will be answered. It's an amazing religion, and yeah. um, me, myself, my heart is already in it. So my testimony today is how Allah saved my son from the drugs and, and the <coughs> liquor, who he was then, um, and who is he today. And I am very, very proud of my son who he is. He's, he's an amazing, an amazing man, an amazing um, E-man who takes the world 
takes the word around the world, who he stops to speak about Allah. And um, we will just continue to work in his kingdom. So again, um, it was a pleasure giving you my testimony. Um, very grateful to Allah because he does miracles and saving who are in the world, drinking, drugs, whatever it is, continue to please trust in him. What would you say, Ma, in terms of, um, you know, parents who their children may find Islam and they may accept Islam, but the parents are not Muslim and the parents may be scared, like you were once scared, thinking that, you know, now their kids are going to become terrorists or because of all of the misinformation on TV and the news. Um, you know, what advice would you give those parents who may uh, have a child and sometimes they may push the child away because they become a Muslim and stop talking to them? You know, what, ad what short advice, small advice can you give those parents um, who may have children who are Muslim and they are not Muslim? To please not to be afraid, to let them be, for you to listen to the word. It's not what it is or what they say. I was also naive many years ago. And um, we have to open our mind and listen and hear. This is not terrorism. This is not what people say. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the people who are very naive. Um, yes, we have bad people, good people in all religion and all nationality, but this, this religion, Islam, is a wonderful religion, is peace, is having faith, honor to God, and it's, it's one of the, like I said, one of the best religion that I could experience. And let your children get what they need in this, in this, in this, um, in, in, in Islam, because you will be happy like I am. I'm a proud mother, and Allah saved my son. Um, don't be naive like I was. Come in with your, with your son and your daughter and listen to the word. Give it a chance. You will never regret it. Thank you, mommy. Love you. I love you. Um, so you heard it here, inshallah. Taala will continue with our convert chronicles, um, trying to inspire, trying to move hearts, minds, and souls. And I'm your brother Abdul Razak Abu Sumeer Until next time, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.